is up folks welcome to another edition of billy the kids no bullshit toy reviews and today we are taking a look at studio series 65 transformers bumblebee blitzwing he is a pretty decent representation of his movie counterpart i think they did a pretty good job here it looks good i'm not a fan of the movie designs so i'm just being as honest as i can it looks good his accessories are this blaster which with this tab and this piece uh, slides in and tabs in and it looks as if it's his arm and this thing that it looks like his hand looks like a knife and i'm, I'm sure it's what he used to um, take away bumblebee's voice box but instead of it sliding in this way it, he has his hand hold a hand and that's pretty dumb um just is in my opinion so i'm going to remove these weapon bits and just get into it he looks nice he has a decent amount of paint for a hasbro mainline this piece just fell off that's great all right he's got paint up here at the visor paint along his face side of his head intakes a little bit of red here, red paint here, and I think that's it aside from like the red paint along the wings. It's not a lot of paint, but it's enough. I'm sure we'll find some more when we do the jet mode. Uh, a little bit of orange in here, but it's very sloppy. The figure itself looks good, proportioned nicely, plastic feels good. Head is on a ball joint, so he looks up, comes forward as well. I think that's due to transformation. Looks down, full 360 degrees. Shoulders come up this far. Every time I try to move him, the chest on tabs. It would have a full 360 if it wasn't for the wings, so I'll give him some points there. You've got a very strong bicep swivel. This just came undone. You've got a double bend at the elbow. Pieces keep falling off, so obviously I'm not going to be too happy here. Yeah, double bend at the elbow. Wrist swivels. Fingers don't fing. No, uh, yeah, a little bit. Of, I'm going to give it a little bit of a waist swivel, guys. A little bit. No full Van Damme. I guess these come undone. No full Van Dam. Thigh swivels. Bend at the knee. Rockers. Toes come up and down. Heels don't move. Kicks up this far. Kicks back this far. It's pretty poseable. I'm like I said, I'm not a fan of these movie designs. But I will give credit where credit's due. This is a pretty cool design. Um, all in all, for his robot mode, I think he's pretty impressive. I think he looks like he came off the screen. I did forget to mention he comes with a display from the scene where he attacks Bumblebee and the soldiers. Box art is just a picture of him from the film. A horrible graphic here of his face. It's so pixelated. Back of the box side of the box. I'm going to transform him into his jet mode and I will give you my final thoughts on that. Okay, here we have Blitzwing in his jet mode and I'm definitely impressed with how they handled uh, certain parts of the transformation. And it was fun. It was nice. It cleans up very well. There's not too much robot kibble. Here's that stupid fucking hand piece though. Uh, it's nice. I, I do wish... It had some Decepticon symbols on it. Like, there's no Decepticon logos anywhere. So that's, I don't know, unsettling. You would think that it's a Decepticon, it would have some. It looks good from the side, looks good from the top, looks good from the bottom. It does its job. There is landing gear uh, built into the feet here, and this piece comes out from underneath. 
they do a great job of weapon storage here. I think that was nice. And it's just a nice figure. It's it's a fun figure. It it does the job of representing the character and it does a nice job of being a toy that's not too complicated for a kid to transform but isn't too simple where you feel like it's been dumbed down. I think it's a good figure. I did want to mention that there's paint that comes straight on through airbrushed on the cockpit and it looks nice. That's that paint that I wasn't able to do on the robot mode. Um, I'm happy with him. I think he's a good figure. I'm not going to go run out and start collecting Studio Series uh, figures just because I'm not a fan of the movie designs. But I can see where people would enjoy this and I could definitely give it a thumbs up. As always, check out my sponsors, St. Mark's Comics, down in the link below. To my Patreons, thank you for your continued support and belief in my channel. If you like what you see, please give me a like and subscribe. This is Billy the Kid, signing off.